Hey everybody, today is Tuesday, November 28th, 2023, and it is officially cold outside right now. I guess it was, what, um, two or so weeks ago? I said, oh my gosh, it's so cold outside today, but you know what, this is nothing. It's gonna get a lot, lot colder here in Pennsylvania. It's officially now a lot, lot colder. It is, it is nuts. This morning I was completely frozen taking my son to school. It actually snowed a little bit. This morning, my car this morning was covered in a thin layer of, um, of snow. I was not happy to, to see that. So what are we doing today? Well, nothing outside because um, again, it is very, very cold today. We're gonna do some thrifting. It's been a couple of weeks since I've done any real legitimate thrifting. So I'm, I'm fiending. I'm fiending for the finds. We're gonna start out at Liberty Ministry Thrifts, gigantic, awesome mega store because it's been about probably three or so, maybe more weeks since I've last been inside the store. So I'm, I'm excited, I'm pumped. I'm ready to do some thrifting. I'm ready to do some stuff not outside in the cold. Oh, I can feel, I can feel the heat. I can feel the fines. We're gonna get some good deals today. I could just, I can feel it in my now warm bones. So of course the uh, the finds that I really want to find are in the media section. I'm hoping for some good deals on some DVDs, Blu-rays, VHS, CDs. I don't care. Just some good, some good media today. So we are going to start out in the books and media section. But again, redundant. Books are media. Whew, having trouble. Uh, Having trouble catching my breath there. My uh, my body might feel a little bit warmer now that I'm inside, but my my lungs are still filled of cold cold air. I have to take in some oh, some uh, some deep breaths. I know I'm probably jinxing myself by saying this, but um, I'm not really finding a whole lot as of yet. They did have this Jesus, the complete story. That's pretty awesome. But I already had that Discovery Channel documentary. I think within like a, a set, so I don't actually need that. They also had this, Tyler Perry's House of Pain, Volume 1, Episodes 1 through 20. I've never actually seen this show. Is it any good? I'm, I'm kind of intrigued, but um, I mean, even if, even if I really did want to pick this up, it's not in the best condition. The discs are complete hockey pucks, so gonna end up passing on that. And to, um, to top it all off, their movie section is beginning to shrink. It's being overtaken by by books so that's not that's not good anyway we, we still have the entire rest of the the movie section to look through I'm, I'm still keeping the power of positivity alive i'm gonna find something good but so far not off to a great start okay this would have been an awesome find not for me i already have all these movies individually in my collection but this would have been really awesome for my Macari store, Dawn of the Dead, Land of the Dead, Halloween 2, and The People Under the Stairs. That's four pretty fantastic movies there all together. I used to actually have this set in my collection a while ago, but unfortunately, again, not, not being off to the greatest of starts, the discs are just in terrible condition. So yeah, for $2, I probably would have picked that up for my Macari store, but in that condition, I'm just, I'm just gonna have to pass. Okay, so I'm, I'm finding interesting things, but unfortunately not really interesting things I want to pick up for me or even for the store. Here's Warner Brothers Home Entertainment Academy Awards Animation Collection 15 winners. Wow, that just that just rolls right off the tongue. Again, still brand new factory seal. That's pretty awesome, but I don't need that. Here's um, the Firestarter 2 movie collection. Again, pretty cool. Don't need it. Bear in the Big Blue House, a bear for all seasons. Really awesome to come across this, but I... I already have a minty copy. I don't need that. Scooby-Doo meets Batman, which is pretty cool. But again, I, I already have it. Some uh, some Blu-rays down here of titles. I am I already have Yellowstone Season 3, which is cool. But again, I have it. And this I was really excited about at first until I realized what it was. I saw the, the Disney logo and thought, oh my gosh, is it a, a Disney vacation guide that I don't yet have? No, it's just Disney desktop themes. So it's not even really a, a DVD. It's not something I... I need and or want. So again, I'm, I'm finding some interesting things. It's just not interesting things I, I'm i gonna be picking up. Again, keeping the power of positivity alive, but um, so far down row one, absolutely 
nothing. They also had this though. It's the um, the Book of Pooh. This would have been a really awesome find again. Not for me, for for my Macari store had it been in good condition because this is kind of rare and more obscure, but it wasn't in good condition. So I'm passing on that. And I was kind of tempted by by this St. Kitts Scenic Railway, Railway, the Sugar Train. That is interesting. It's a um, commemorative DVD. So I guess if you took the um, the St. Kit Scenic Rail St. Kitts Scenic Railway, you could buy that that DVD, which is kind of, kind of interesting. But I, I've never been there, so I don't know. It's cool. It's tempting, but it's I don't. Know, it's it's something I need. I'm passing. Before I make my way down into the other row, I stopped over here to see what was on the cart. And um, again, some interesting things like Christianity, the first 2000 years, I, I already had that documentary. This was also really cool. Sesame Street, Happy Holidays from Sesame Street comes with uh, Elmo's World, Happy Holidays, Elmo Saves Christmas, and Christmas Eve on Sesame Street. I, I also already have this, but had the discs been in good condition, would have been tempted to grab that for the, um, Again, for the store, but it's it's not in good condition. And look at this. Somebody actually put all their DVDs into thin cases. I know some people do this. It, it actually doesn't it doesn't look terrible, but I would I would never cut up my artwork like that. I did look through these though, because you, you never know. There could be something rare and obscure in here. Unfortunately, it, there, there's not. It's all pretty common stuff. But um, I mean, had there been like some you know random obscure horror movie or something like that that's really hard to find even with cut up artwork i probably would have bought it but anyway nothing uh, new there on the cards well i wanted to say things were finally starting to turn around but i don't really know that they they are i did find this though hedvig and the angry inch one of the greatest movies ever made by far one of the greatest soundtracks to a movie ever made i probably listened to the soundtrack at least um once a week, probably watch the movie at least once or twice a year. It's it's honestly that good. I, I love this film. I've actually never seen it in its um, kind of standard DVD case like this. I've seen it in a snapper case and I, I have the Criterion Blu-ray release at home. So I don't I don't need this. Still really awesome to see it. But um, again, I, I don't I don't need it. Doesn't go for anything. So I'm going to I'm going to pass on that. But this I'm kind of tempted by. It's uh, the world of Nauru, if I'm saying that correctly. Some anime here I've never actually heard of. Unfortunately, it is missing volume two. Disc number two is not there. But the other discs look to be rather minty. Disc three looks good. Disc four looks good. And um, disc one, oh, well, <laughs> disc one does, does not look good. Wow, that is uh, that is not pretty. So... If I were to pick this set up, I would basically just be getting it for volumes three and volumes four because um, the one's not going to play and two is just not existent. So I don't know. Do I want to pay two dollars for for like half a set? I could eventually find the other two discs and then put them in here. That's that's kind of what I'm thinking. That's where I'm, where I'm where my mindset is right now, especially since I'm not really finding anything else. I don't know, for two bucks, I, I might actually foolishly and weirdly pick this up. All right, so maybe now I can finally say that things are, are turning around. I'm finding some stuff here I think I actually need, like the I Love Lucy 50th anniversary special, brand new factory sealed, put out by Paramount. I don't have this in my collection. That is pretty awesome, and I do I do love me some Lucy. So that is, um, that is something I think I am gonna pick up, and do I have the I Love Lucy mo movie? I, I Love Lucy the movie. I could swear I own this, but it's not on my list. And I looked up to see how many different releases of this film there were. I think this is it. And I don't recognize this artwork. So part of me wants to say somehow over all these years, I haven't picked this up. But at the same time, how have I not picked this up over all these years? Like I, I have to own this, right? I don't, I, I honestly don't know. I, I don't, I don't think I have this for for some weird reason. So, I may, maybe I do, but for two bucks, I'm gonna pick that up too. All right, that's gonna do it for the uh, the rows. Now moving on to the racks here, and the question is, how crazy am I gonna get with my Disney collection? I mean, what what do I want to include in my Disney collection? What do I not want to include in my Disney collection? Because I'm finding a copy here of Rolly Holy Oli. The Baby Bot Chase. I, 
I've never really gotten into this show. I've never really watched the show, though I used to date a girl who was crazy in to Roly Poly Oli. She loved the show. She had all like the plush figures and the toys and whatnot. I don't know why she, she was obsessed with the show and I don't know why I never actually ended up watching it with her, but I'm, I'm intrigued. My, my curiosity is piqued. I'm kind of tempted to pick this show up. Should I grab Roly Poly Oli? The disc is surprisingly in minty condition, so I don't know. For, for two, you know what? For two dollars, I'm gonna pick it up. I'm gonna check it out, and if I like it, then I'm, I'll buy more. If I don't like it, then I'll, I'll sell this, and I, I won't buy more. I'm thinking that might actually do it for the movies. I honestly don't really see anything else. I mean, okay, yes, there were some other things that were kind of jumping out at me, but nothing I necessarily wanted to pick up for for me or for the. Uh, the store. I did go through this entire table as well. Not really much over here with the exception of The Simpsons Season 3. This is the season that's um, it's not really out of print or whatever, but the um, basically the uh, the episode Stark Raving Dad was, I don't know, pulled or censored or whatever. It, out of print, what, whatever it is. Discs are in terrible condition, so gonna end up passing on that. They had a Sleepwalkers which was pretty cool, but it's nothing I need, nothing I really want to grab for the store. There's the Stuart Little three movie collection. That's kind of awesome. I already own that. So again, I'm finding interesting stuff today. There is there is pretty cool stuff here. They're also putting new titles out, which is um, pretty awesome. But unfortunately, I know story of my life, just not much in the way of anything I need. But I, I did find some things. I am pretty happy with my with my finds here. The I Love Lucy stuff is pretty awesome. If I if I need the movie, I don't know. Rolly Poly Oli, I'm looking forward to finally watching that. And um, even though I'm really only buying it for the last two discs, the um, the world of Naru, I guess is a pretty cool find, but all right. I, I could go through all the CDs, but uh, I have some other stores I wanna go hit up. So we're gonna pass on the the CDs today. All right, made my way over into the Little Liberty toy section now, and right away I'm finding something that I'm I'm intrigued by. It's the the mag blocks. These are magnetic blocks, and you can do all kinds of interesting things with them. I, I don't want this for me. I don't want this to put on Makari. I want to get this for my son. I can just see him really enjoying this. He has something kind of similar. It's not really a block. It's 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 different, but he really enjoys playing with that. So I think he would really enjoy playing with this as well. But like, does he really need it? Will he really play with it a whole lot? And with us moving to Florida, do we really need to be buying more toys, more things we have to take down? No, probably not. But I'm, I'm thinking, you know what, for, for $4, if I can bring some joy to my son, even for like five minutes, you know what? Wor worth it, right? I'm gonna buy the uh, the mag blocks for, for my son. If this was in good condition, and more importantly, if it wasn't for this price, I would probably be picking up this Alvin and the Chipmunks mini metal lunchbox for display purposes in the library. This is actually really awesome. I'm definitely digging this, but again, it's not in very good condition. I think maybe that's just dirt or you know, honestly, I don't want to know what that is. I, I need some hand sanitizer now, but I think I could probably clean this up. But I don't know. They're asking five dollars on it for ninety nine. I'd pay like a dollar or two for that. I really I I like it. I just don't five dollars like it. So um, it's cool, but I'll wait till I find it at a at a flea market for like a a buck. So it would appear that everybody's getting something today. Again, I'm getting the uh, DVDs. My son's getting the mag blocks and. Danielle is getting this. Look at the little plastic, or should I say little rubber, I don't know, squeaky raccoon. That is awesome for only 99 cents. If you guys do not know, she loves raccoons. She collects anything raccoon related. And um, I mean, that is pretty awesome. A, a little standalone raccoon for a dollar. Yeah, I'm, I'm buying that for her. And with that pretty awesome find for Danielle, I'm thinking that might just about do it for the... Uh, for the store. I'm not really seeing anything else I want to pick up. Nothing over here in the children's section. I did kind of skim over just very briefly. I probably should have looked better, but I, I skimmed over the rest of the store, did not see anything else. So I'm thinking it's just the, the DVDs, the toy for Danielle and the toy for my son. I, I guess all in all, not a terrible haul. 
I was just about to check out. I'm heading right up to the registers right now, but as I'm walking up there, I'm noticing this bowl here full of keychains, and within them are these really interesting duck keychains, and um, I'm digging this one right here. It's a Rockabilly Greaser duck keychain for only $2. I'm thinking I have to get this for for Danielle. For those of you who do not know, she is a Jeep driver, and um, when it comes to to Jeep drivers, the big thing to do is to collect ducks and put them on your, your front dashboard and you leave ducks for other Jeep drivers. You, you actually put ducks on other people's Jeeps. I don't get the whole trend. Nobody can explain to me why it's even a, a thing, but it is a, it is a thing. And um, I'm thinking she needs this for her, for her keys, right? I mean, she's got the ducks on her dashboard. She needs a duck on her actual keychain, right? Yeah, she... She needs that. So for two bucks, she's getting the uh, the greaser duck. All right, guys. So that is going to do it for Liberty Ministry. Door almost hit me. That is going to do it for Liberty Ministry Thrift's gigantic, awesome mega store. I, I found some interesting things. Not an overly, amazingly awesome haul, but still some some pretty good finds for uh, for me, for for Danielle, for my son. I'm happy with the uh, the finds today, but we're not we're not quite done with today because. I've got to go hit up Goodwill. It's been a while since I've been to Goodwill. And again, I'm feeding for, for some more fines. So let's go see what Goodwill has to offer. Oh my gosh. It is just, again, way, way too cold out. Anyway, so the Goodwill we're hitting up is the Goodwill here in Trap, Pennsylvania. I'm pretty excited to see what they have in here. Now that, now that the, like the whole back wall is all movies I love the fact that they've actually moved their movies to the back wall that looks nicer, easier to look through. Definitely digging it. Hope they keep that here at least for, um, well, for the next like four months until I head down to uh, to Florida permanently. So let's, oh my gosh, see what they have. And man, I need a, I need a haircut too. My, ugh, yeah, wow. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> let's, what? Let's go see what they have. All right, so it looks like their uh, media section is still on the back wall, which again, I'm just, I'm digging. Makes looking through everything so much easier. Though with that being said, I'm, I'm seeing empty spots. Last time I was in here, there was definitely more movies, but there, there are still quite a bit here. And hopefully they've done some restocking over the last three or so weeks. And um, there might actually be something I, I need to pick up. I mean, right away, I'm not finding anything, but again, I, I just I just started looking. Why am I already complaining? Power of positivity. I'm gonna find something good. So the first thing my eye went to immediately, as soon as I walked over here, right when I was recording that last little segment, I was I was looking at this, the scripted aisle. This is um, 55 BC to 1901, the BBC Radio 4 history of Britain. This is interesting. It's all on cassette tape and these really weird, like jewel cases. Biz bizarre. So th that is pretty cool. I honestly thought it was a um, a DVD or Blu-ray or or something else besides cassette tapes. I don't need this. I have no real interest in this. They're asking only ten dollars for it, but again, it's not something I I need. So I'm gonna pass. But if you're like me, you were also eyeing this up and thinking to yourself, what what is that? It, it's just cassette tapes. For a very brief second, I was um, I was pretty excited because I just came across this, The Twilight Zone Season 2 on Blu-ray. I, yeah, I was freaking out for a second. Then I, I remembered that I actually already have two seasons of Twilight Zone on, on Blu-ray already. And of course, it's Season 2 and Season 3 I already own. So I actually don't need this. That kind of stinks. That's a really awesome find. And I would love to get every single season at some point on Blu-ray. I had the big DVD box set, but then only again, seasons two and seasons three on, on Blu-ray in my collection. That would have been a really cool find. That, that got me pretty excited there for a sec, but again, I already have it. I don't need it. I'm gonna pass. You have got to be kidding me. I am both really, really excited right now and also kind of upset right now. I just found the Dazed and Confused Blu-ray Criterion release for only $2.99. I just recently bought this for I think like $20. With that being said, my copy is the 4K Blu-ray combo pack release. So technically the one I bought is um, is better 
than this, but still, I, I would have been happy paying $2 instead of $20 for just the, just the Blu-ray. Still though, um, this is a really, really cool find for only $2.99. That is, that is insane. So people always ask me, why don't I buy stuff for a little bit more when I come across it? When I find, you know, a, a Criterion Collection release for, for $20, why do I usually pass on it? Why do I usually not buy it? And the reason is because stuff like that, I know down the line, I'm just gonna end up finding for cheaper. And sure enough, here it is for only, again, $2.99. Yes, I know it's the Blu-ray, not the 4K release, but still that is, that is nuts. That is crazy. The good news is though, since it is only $2.99, I'm buying this for my, my McCarty store. There's no way I'm passing on this. That is, uh, that is an awesome find. I'm, I'm kind of blown away by this. Again, I don't really need it for me personally, but yeah, for the store, I am picking this up. And yes, I did notice right next to Days to Confused was the special edition release of Dogma, which I think is still out of print, is it? Or has it been re-released? I don't, I don't remember. I did look up to see what this goes for. The answer is not as much as it used to. So either it's back in print or it just doesn't really sell for much anymore. I'm, I'm not entirely sure, but still it does go for a little bit. So for $2.99, I'm also picking this up for the store. I know, I was pressing my luck with this one, but I was hoping for three out of three. Here's the Mickey's House of Villains DVD. I believe this is actually out of print, goes for a little bit of money, nothing too crazy, but uh, pretty awesome. It's the Mickey's House of Mouse Halloween special. This is awesome. I have this in my own collection. I love watching this every Halloween season, and um, I would have also bought this for the store, but it's in terrible condition, so I'm gonna have to pass on that. I was hoping three out of three would have been pretty, pretty cool. But I mean, I mean, you know, do yeah, Dogma's awesome, but still taste to confused Criterion Blu-ray for three bucks. <sighs> I'm thinking though, that's gonna do it for the uh, movie section. I honestly don't see anything else over here I wanna pick up. And yes, I did go through all these CDs and the surprising amount of audiobooks, but unfortunately I don't need and or want any of those, so. I am gonna pass on everything else, but I'm, I'm not complaining. The fact that I found both of these for so cheap is just absolutely insane. Even though they're not for me, they're for my Macari store. I, I don't care. These are such awesome finds. I'm still pretty excited, but all right. We, we have the rest of the store to walk around. I'm gonna quickly skim over all the other shelves and see what uh, else we can find. But honestly, if I walk out of here with only this, I'm happy. What in the heck is this? It's Blob, not The Blob, not to be confused with the classic 1958 Steve McQueen greatest sci-fi movie ever made, The Blob, but it is still Blob. That is weird. I guess it's some kind of um, science experiment for, for kids, but what makes it really, really weird is that The Blob is attacking the World Trade Towers. Um, th that is bizarre. As I'm constantly saying in these videos, I do not need any more Funko Pops, and because I don't need any more Funko Pops, I definitely don't need any more dwarves. I do have a couple of these on display in the library, and these are really cool. They're, they're the Walking Dead dwarves. I'm definitely digging these, but I don't know. I'm thinking at five dollars a piece, as cool as they are, they're not that cool. I don't, I don't need them. If they were like, let's say a dollar a piece or something, or maybe, maybe even two dollars a piece, I would probably pick those up, but at five, I gotta do the right thing and just, just walk away. Again, something else I'm going to uh, pass on, but something else that's really awesome. Look at this Mickey Mouse Trapper Keeper. Actually, I think what this probably is, is an old photo frame, three, three ring binder. That is really, really cool though. I love the kind of like vintage look of, of Mickey Mouse. It's actually in really good condition. It's, it's tempting, but I don't know, it's actually, it's actually on sale for only $1.50. I have no need for this. I don't I don't resell this kind of stuff anymore. And what would I do with a, um, a three ring Mickey Mouse binder? I Nothing, that's what. So it's cool, it's awesome, it's amazing, but it's gonna go right back there for somebody else. This, however, I'm not going to leave behind. It's a, um, I know it's weird, it's a laundry sign that's actually on sale also for for half a price for $2.50. I I don't know. I thought it looked kind of interesting and I contacted Danielle. I said, did, did you want this for the 
for the laundry room. I don't know if it's really your your thing, your aesthetic, your, I don't know, the, the type of, of decor you're into. And she said, yeah, that's actually kind of awesome. Pick it up for me. So I'm grabbing a, a laundry sign, whatever, for $2.50. I guess that's a, a good deal. And I, I dropped my dazed and confused. Apparently I was holding my dazed and confused case in one direction and my uh, dogma case in the other direction. Thankfully it was the dazed and confused that fell as it's a, uh, a cardboard case and not the plastic case of the, the dogma because had, had dogma cracked, I, I would have been upset. I am so, so happy this is uh, broke because if it wasn't, <laughs> I would probably be picking this up. Look at the the Duke, the John Wayne clock slash coat hanger. That is amazing, oh my gosh. And it's on sale for half price. If this still had the, uh, the hands and was actually in working condition, I don't know what I would do with this, but I would, I would have bought that. That, is, that thing is just, it's tacky, it's awesome, it's amazing, it should go in my library. But again, I just, you know what? It, it's probably for the best it's broken because I don't, I don't even know where I would, I would hang that or what, what exactly it is I would do with that. But that is awesome. I don't know if it's just because there's so many people reselling nowadays, but I really haven't been finding anything interesting as far as Christmas is concerned over the last couple of years, which is kind of interesting because the reason I started reselling in the first place was honestly because of Christmas. I remember one year I found so many cool, interesting vintage Christmas things, a lot of Christmas uh, vintage Disney stuff one year. And I thought to myself, wow, I should be like buying this and reselling it. And then it was because of that that I started reselling other stuff in general. I don't do that anymore. I only resell media now. I, I stopped reselling toys and collectibles and, and Christmas stuff and things like that. But ever, ever since then, I really haven't found very much in the way of interesting Christmas things. Unfortunately, I kind of just want to pick them up for for me now, for the for the house, for decor, maybe some cool vintage ornaments for the uh, for the tree. I no longer want to buy stuff to resell. I want to buy stuff for for me personally. But I just I don't know. I don't really see anything anymore. All right, well, I'm thinking that's just about gonna do it for this Goodwill, but I'm pretty happy with my finds. Again, days to confuse. Through... God? Anyway, as I was saying, I'm pretty happy with my finds. Days to Confused Blu-ray Criterion for $3, the um, special edition DVD release of Dogma for $3, and a laundry sign for $2.50 for for Danielle, for uh, for the house. I'm Again, I'm pretty happy with my my finds inside uh, inside this Goodwill. Yes, some more stuff for me would have been nice, but I'll take what I can get, especially when it's Criterions and out of print DVDs. All right, guys, so yeah, that is gonna do it for this Goodwill, and I'm thinking that's gonna do it for just thrifting today in general. I was tempted to go to some other stores, but maybe I should just end things on a, um, on a high note. I'm pretty happy with my finds, and on top of that, it's getting kind of late, and I still have to eat something today and then go pick up my son from school, so I, I could hit up a few more places, but we'll save them for a a later date. Maybe we'll just go thrifting twice this week. We'll, we'll see. Again, I, it's been a while since I've thrifted. I'm in a thrifting mood, so maybe in like a day or two from now, we'll go out and do some, some more thrifting, especially if this cold weather continues because there's no way I'm going to want to do anything outside. No outside adventures while it is this cold. So um, yeah, maybe we'll just do a bunch of thrifting over the next week or something like that. I don't know. But anyway, guys, with that, we are done. So so many cars and people in this parking lot all of a sudden. Anyway, guys, so with that, oh my gosh, it's so cold as well. You know what, hold, hold on, one, one second. Wait, wait, we got, we got this, we got this, and... <sighs> all right, guys, that's gonna do it for, oh my gosh, it's so cold. That's gonna do it for today, so. As always, guys, thank you so much for checking out this video. Be sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, check down below for links to Patreon. If you guys do become a patron, I will send you a postcard every single month from the road. Also check down below for a link to Spreadshirt where you can grab yourself retro rest stop t-shirts, proceeds both from Spreadshirt and from Patreon. Do help support the show and they do keep the show going. So I really do appreciate the help and the support. And if you guys watch this video all the way until the very end, I don't know, hashtag, um, hashtag cold, cold laundry. 
if you guys watch this video all the way until the very end. But all right, guys, again, that's going to do it. So like I said, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. And if you do hit that subscribe button or you are subscribed, then I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.